Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Don't miss the best meteor shower of the year next week and how to find Neptune using Jupiter as a finder. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. Boy, oh boy, have we ever got two cosmic goodies for you. On Sunday night, December 13th, and early Monday morning, December 14th, you will have an opportunity to see the best meteor shower of the entire year, the Geminids, so named because they appear to come from the constellation Gemini, the twins. Plus, the following weekend, the 19th, 20th, and 21st, Jupiter will be so close to Neptune that all you have to do to find Neptune is find Jupiter. Let me show you. Okay, we've got our sky step for this Sunday night about 10 p.m. facing east, where you will see winter's most famous constellation, Orion the Hunter, renowned for the three equally spaced stars lined up in a row which mark his belt. If you shoot an arrow down through those stars, you'll land on the brightest star we can see, Sirius, which marks the eye of Orion's bigger dog. And close to Sirius is the bright star, Procyon, which marks the eye of Orion's smaller dog. Plus, just to his left, two not quite as bright stars, Castor and Pollux, the two brightest stars of the Gemini twins. And it is from this constellation that the Geminid meteor shower will appear to originate. And this year it should be super good because there will be no moonlight whatsoever to wipe out even the faintest meteors. In fact, when it is at its peak, some may actually see up to 75 meteors per hour. Now, the Gemini shower is one of those rare showers, which is frequently good before midnight as well as after. But this year, I'd suggest you watch from about 10 o'clock in the evening until dawn Monday, if you can. It will be better if you get far away from city lights. Lie back in a lawn chair or sleeping bag and slowly scan the sky. No binoculars or telescope needed. And if you stay out for a couple of hours, you should be able to see several dozen. As time goes by, Gemini will rise higher and higher in the sky so that by 2 or 3 a.m., it will be almost overhead. Now, although we know that almost all meteor showers occur when our Earth rides through a stream of comet debris left in the orbit of a comet, the Geminids are actually asteroid debris and appear every December when our Earth rides through the stream of debris from asteroid Phaeton 3200. So we could call the Geminids an asteroid shower. And now for you planet aficionados who have never seen the eighth planet, Neptune. Get out your small telescope on the 19th, 20th, and 21st, an hour after sunset. Face southwest and aim your telescope directly at super bright 88,000 mile wide Jupiter. And right beside it, about half a degree away, you will see a tiny bluish green spot of light. And that is 31,000 mile wide Neptune. And the reason it appears so tiny is because while Jupiter is only half a billion miles away, Neptune is almost six times farther, almost three billion miles away. Wow! So there you have it. Your best chance to find Neptune and a super duper asteroid shower. Keep looking up! Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95.